Welcome to the first part in how to make an RTS game in Unity video. In this video, we'll be setting up a few simple utilities to help make life easier down the line. So I already have a scripts folder here, and I can just create a new C Sharp script and just call it utils. This is just going to be a very simple script. We're only going to have two functions right now, and they're going to return a transform and a game object. These are just going to be selections to just help with selecting down the line. So Visual Studio is opening. Takes a little bit. Okay. And then up here, we're going to wrap this class in a namespace so we can use it in any script we want. So I'm just going to type in namespace and just call it something like rts.utils. Just something really generic that will allow us to use it in any class. So the first one we're going to need is a public static and game object and we're going to call this let's just say selected object selected object like this it's going to basically be a function and it says not all, all code pass return a value but we're going to fix that so we have to create a new ray and just call it ray and and equal to camera dot main we can actually make this take in a transform but I'm just going to use a camera, so camera, and let's just say camera, like this. We can just do camera dot screen point to ray, and then we're going to pass in the input dot mouse position, like this. And then you could also make it pass in a layer mask. I'm actually going to do that, so I'm just going to say layer mask, and just call it mask, like this. And then we want to say if physics dot raycast, physics dot raycast. I'm just going to do ray. We actually want to make an out and just call it raycast hit and just call it hit v. We don't need a max distance, but I'm just going to pass in just something like 650 like this. And I'm probably also going to do the mass like that. And then we want this to return the hit dot game dot collider dot game object like this and not all code pass still return value so if that is false we can just say return null like that because it didn't collide with anything so this should actually be the first utility function setup we're also going to need another one so we know where we hit so i'm just going to create a public static vector three and call it let's just call it mm, let's just call it hit point and then we need to pass in camera and just call it camera we don't need to pass get, pass in a layer mask but you can if you want to and then we pretty much just do everything up here except instead of returning a game object we do hit dot collider we also need to remove this mask up here for some reason my cursor is going weird we do hit dot point and if we don't find anything we just return a new vector three and just type in zero 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 like that so there should be our two helper functions set up and you can actually test this out by making a main camera script and making it use the utilities class we created rts.utils and then you could just call the hit point or the selected object functions in the update and then debug.log it but we currently don't have anything in here just yet so this is the end of the first video i'll see you in the next video where we set up simple camera movement